Well, the newly announced points-based framework for employment pass applications will be continuously improved and adjusted to ensure that firms bring in foreign talents who will contribute to Singapore's workforce. Our manpower minister Tan Si Leng made this assurance to MPs during a parliamentary debate on the new Compass framework. He also addressed questions on whether Compass could result in more EP holders entering Singapore. If the employer was to meet all the requirements under Compass, uh, is MOM obliged to give the EPs? And if that's the case, uh, would that lead to a situation where the total number of EPs issued would be even higher than before? Our aspiration is to be a global city, brimming with opportunities for our local Singaporean core. I think it behooves us to now move into a system where every e-pass holder coming in, every foreigner coming in, will have to pull his weight in working, complementing our local, as at the same time supporting and driving our economy. We don't have an aspirational target in terms of a fixed number of e-pass holder. Under the new qualifying criteria, how many EP holders today uh, would not have been issued with the EP um, under the new criteria? So today we've got a fixed number. Up to, I, I think it's about 166,000 based on last year's data. I think it's difficult to compare because we measure according to what is the median of that sector. But suffice to say, um, from now till the next four, five years, when all the renewals have taken that into consideration. I think that the, the churn would take care of whatever slack that exists today. On any given year, our churn is about 40,000 a, a year. So that is the, the number of new applicants applying to join and people leaving.